What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but I was super excited about this. And keep in mind, this is not a tutorial video. I just kind of wanted to show this off. I will have my tutorial videos coming up very soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. But ever since the Steam Deck released, everybody wanted a nice little emulation front end in SteamOS 3.0. And with EMU Deck, it's totally possible to add your games right here along with collections. I've got a full tutorial on setting up EMU Deck really soon, but as soon as I finished with that tutorial, I got to thinking about Emulation Station and just running Emulation Station in SteamOS 3.0. Originally, I was going to build it from scratch, but I did some research and I found Emulation Station Desktop Edition. And if you head over to their website, they actually have an app image specifically made for the Steam Deck. It's really easy to get set up, but I would highly recommend using EMU Deck first. Get all that set up, then all you really need to do is download the app image, start it up, and all of your games are going to automatically populate, and your emulators are already going to be set up. Now, like I mentioned, this isn't a tutorial video, but those may already be out as of watching this, so check the links in the description. I will post them there. But this was super exciting to me because ever since I got my hands on the Steam Deck, one thing I wanted to do was run RetroPie or Botocera. Now, with those, we will be able to do that in the future. I'm 100% sure of it. And we can run those from a USB drive. But then we're kind of stuck without using SteamOS, or we'd at least have to reboot in the SteamOS. And with it set up like this, we've got basically everything we need on the Steam Deck. We've got Steam with all of our PC games. You could just use EMU Deck if you want to launch your games directly from SteamOS. Or you can set up Emulation Station, as you can see here, and have a really nice little front-end interface to go through and play your favorite retro games. You can add your own themes, just like you can on the Raspberry Pi. This version that I'm using in this video only has two different themes, but you can always add your own down the road if you want to. It's got a scraper built in, and you can scrape videos this way using the screen scraper. And with that, I would highly recommend getting an account over there if you know you're going to be setting up a lot of different retro emulators on your Steam Deck. But yeah, so far it's been working really well, and as long as I have Steam up and running in the background, because we're just running it on the Steam Deck with SteamOS, the built-in controller worked right out of the box with Emulation Station. There was really nothing I had to do. Let's go ahead and launch a game here. We'll go with Soul Calibur for Dreamcast. And you can add basically any emulator you want to Emulation Station. I'm just using RetroArch with the Flycast Core. And I can go ahead and turn this display off over on the left-hand side so we can get a better look at the screen. I'll just turn it to, let's say, the FPS. I'm just going to jump right into a little bit of Dreamcast Emulation real quick. And with this, you can always set up hotkeys to automatically go back into Emulation Station. Or you could set it up to close Emulation Station down completely if you wanted to. But like I mentioned, I'm using RetroArch here, and I've got my hotkeys set up as L3 and R3. And this will bring me right into Emulation Station, so I can go through and change the resolution and do basically whatever I want. Or I can completely exit the emulator right back into Emulation Station. But remember, hotkeys can always be set up with this, so all you need to do is press two buttons and it'll automatically exit that game. Moving over to a little bit of PSP emulation and still using RetroArch, I find that the core here works really well, even with a nice little upscale. You can go with the standalone version of PPSSPP if you want to, but I've just kind of kept everything from EMU Deck over to Emulation Station and that's what it uses right out of the box. But yeah, this is totally going to change the game for the Steam Deck. And don't get me wrong, I'm still excited to get Botocera installed on this, you know, running from a USB drive or the micro SD card, or even just completely wipe the internal storage and run it from there. But when it comes down to it, there's a lot of people out there that would just want to set up Emulation Station just like it is in SteamOS. That way they don't have to wipe anything. They can always delete that from their internal storage or micro SD card, depending on where you're running it from. And we've still got access to SteamOS and PC games. I can just go right into the menu and shut Emulation Station down. Now it's going to bring us right back into SteamOS, and I can start playing my favorite PC games from right here. But yeah, I mean, this is really great. If you want to go with just EMU Deck and have all of your games and collections right on the main menu, that's totally fine too. It works out really well. But I love having a nice little front end like Emulation Station on a handheld like this, and it's really easy to set up. Like I mentioned, I've got tutorials on the way. I will leave links to those in the description of this video in case you're watching it in the future. First up, I'll be doing a full tutorial on setting up EMU Deck, and then the next video I post will be setting up Emulation Station after the fact. And real quick, just in case you want to mess around with the Emulation Station on the Steam Deck before I get my tutorials out, you can head over to the Emulation Station Desktop Edition website. Scroll on down. 
you'll see that they do offer a flat pack for uh, Arch, mainly Manjaro. But if we check out the app images, which basically all we need to do is download it and click on it, there's one here for the Steam Deck. So this is really awesome. First edition for the Steam Deck, it will get better. But as making this video, I've been messing around with it for about six hours. And overall, it's been really stable and I've had a really good time with it. So I'll leave a link to this website in the description in case you want to mess around with it before I get that tutorial out. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. I'd actually like to know how you're going to have your Steam Deck set up. Are you just going to install something like RetroPie or Botocera completely? Or are you going to run something like Emulation Station inside of SteamOS? Let me know in the comments below along with any questions you have. And like always, thanks for watching.